Well hello guys Popplayer and today I'm back for another video and today's video is another top 5 video I have done a top 5 best UU Pokemon yesterday and today's video is a top 5 favorite UU Pokemon Because this is our series the top 5 of all the tiers and as I said in my previous video we only have OU and Uber's tier to go which means that this series is going to end quite soon which is sad but it's pretty cool as well because that means that I have some opportunities for new series or just new uh, kind of top 10s or top 5s to make videos about which is pretty neat I really like that and let's just start off with our top 5 list because I really like this UU Pokemon Number 5 and the number 5 is Mandibus because Mandibus is a really cool looking Pokemon in my opinion. Mandibus has been OU for a long time but it has its UU now and I can definitely see why it's UU. It has quite a lot of weaknesses, uh, not too much but it has quite a few weaknesses and honestly it is a really good Pokemon in my opinion with 110 base uh, HP and uh, 105 uh, base defense. It is really neat and it has special or a um, really special typing dark flying you don't see that quite often but Manibus is just really special for me because it's design it, it's really cool based off a vulture pokemon or that's what the pokedex entry says and i actually found out about Manibus really late i played through uh, black and white and i only saw fullabies and never saw a Manibus until after the Elite 4, I actually found out that Mandibus was a thing and I was really amazed looking at this thing. I really liked the design at the point, at that point and I really do still like it. <laughs> I still like it a lot because it's a really cool Pokemon. So let's go on to our number 4. Number 4. And the number 4 on my list is Mega Ampharos. And Mega Ampharos is just... A really really cool looking Pokemon. You you guys all know about Mega Ampharos, right? I just really like Ampharos because it's the sign. Look at it. It's a freaking model. They <laughs> you see a lot of memes with Mega Ampharos and L'Oreal Paris. I really like it to be honest. That's, that's the main reason why uh, Ampharos is in this list. Just all the memes with it and I really like the design. That little extra white hair that it gets and the tail. It looks really funny and I like how it, it uh, connects with Fluffy again. Because Mareep had a lot of uh, wool on it and Fluffy lost a lot of wool and then Ampharos got bold. And then in the Mega Evolution it gets its hair back which I really enjoy. It is a really good special attack, a 165 base special attack, which is insane. 105 defense, 110 special defense. It is a really, really good mon. The dra dragon typing that, get, that it gets is pretty... It is it is really special, to be honest. You don't see a lot of um, electric dragon types around with the dragon pulse. And Draco Meteor, I think it learns that. Um, I might be wrong about that, I don't see it that often, so I think I'm wrong about that, but it is just a really cool Pokemon, it has a unique typing with the dragon typing and the electric typing, and it is just, <laughs> I just love Emperor's in general, and that's why it's on my number 4 spot. Number 3 and the number 3 on my list is Shaman. And Shaman is just a super cute Pokemon. Look at it. It's just really, really cute. And that's why I... It's on my number 3 spot. I really like cute Pokemon. Apom, Ambipom. Those are all cute Pokemon. And there are a lot of other cute Pokemon that I really, really like. But Shaman is, is on number 3 because it's so cute. And honestly, I really like its competitive uses as well. It's really bulky with uh, spread out 100... Um, base stats all all its or 100 base um, hit points or uh, I'm not good at words today just 100 on all its stats 100 base on all its stats which is really good which makes it a you can do a lot of things with Shaman and that's why I really like it you can um, of course you will see a lot of the times you will see seed flare because that's a really good move it has a limited amount of pp which is the only downfall from the move but it's an almost 100% accurate move i think it has a slight chance to miss but it has a great base power and it has a 50% chance to 
drop your opponent's special defense with two stages, which is good because that means that with a bit of luck, your uh, pow the power of Seed Flare will get boosted and boosted. Well, not the power, but the the special defense will get dropped, but which means that the power of Seed Flare will uh, go up. But that's really good because that means that you can break special walls like Floor just really easily with a bit of luck. And that's what I really like about Shaman. It's a good anti-staller. And it's, it is really good, it has good uh, offenses, offensive moves, it learns uh, Air Slash, Earth Power, Seed Flare, quite some good coverage and the Natural Cure ability, which is always good because that means when, when you get Thunder Wave or will o if you switch out you will lose that status, which is also great. So Shaman, I like its competitive usage and it's just super, super cute, so that's why it's on my number 3 spot. Number 2 and the number two on my list is Snorlax and you honestly be be honest to me guys you you can't hate on Snorlax right Snorlax is so derpy and that's what I like about Snorlax just look at its design it's so derpy uh, it's sleepy it kind of relates to me I'm also a very lazy person not really with uploads well you as you guys saw I'm I could be lazy with uploads but that's not the point in this video because I really like Snorlax because it kind of relates to me. In life I'm pretty lazy. I like to sit around, play some Pokemon and not do a lot of things. Which relates to me of course. And then Snorlax which with the derpy um, looks and good abilities, great stats. I like its competitive usage. Although I don't like its competitive usage as much as I like its appearance. On the anime as well because it is just such a cool Pokemon. Always sleeping. <laughs> it's just really cool and you can't be mad about Snorlax right always blocking the way kind of annoying but that's what makes it a lot of fun to be honest and with 160 base uh, HP you won't be damaging it if you punch it in the belly it won't be hurting he, he doesn't even notice it you could also honestly Game Freak why don't you give this Pokemon unaware I could definitely see that working as well because um he won't he is not aware of if you hit him with a move especially with a special move because he soaks that with 110 special defense and 160 base hp which is great honestly the Cecil Storlex are pretty well balanced you can not be mad about that 160 base hp 110 attack 110 special defense 65 defense which is its only downfall and its speed of course but looking at that fat pokemon you won't expect it to run marathons or to outspeed things like Deoxys speed right and well <laughs> I just really like Snorlax it has really cool move pool as well but let's just not go into that I really like Snorlax and let's go on to our number one number one and my number one is Nidoqueen and Nidoqueen is one of my favorite Pokemon I don't really know why I'm going to try and explain it to you guys in a f in this part of the video, but I just really like Nidoqueen. I prefer it over Nidoking. I'm not sure why. I really like Nidoqueen's shiny form. That's also one reason why Nidoqueen is on the number one. People don't like its shiny form, which I can understand. It's not a, the best color, but I really, really like it for some reason. And um, just Nidoqueen, the coverage that it gets, when I was younger, I wasn't really a fan of Nidoqueen. I didn't hate it as well. It's just when I got older and when I saw its competitive usage and stuff, I really like Nidoqueen. It's quite an underrated Pokemon in UU. It's not the best. I can definitely see why. But it has some good things for it. It has Earth Power, Sheer Force, of course. Nidoqueen is better, but uh, Nidoking is uh, better at being a bit more bulky. So Tank Out Hits, it gets a lot of coverage with Earth Power, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, um, Sludge Wave, Flamethrower, uh, just it doesn't stop to be honest. Iron Tail, Poison Tail, Aqua Tail, <laughs> Ice Punch, Fire Punch, it just doesn't stop on Nidoqueen, which is really cool. It also has access to things like um, Toxic Spikes and uh, Stealth Rocks, which is really cool. And um, also, I'm quite... Uh, I'm, I'm really liking one set on Nidoqueen that I'm using uh, quite a bit if I play UU and that's a Super Fang, um, Stealth Rocks and some extra coverage moves uh, on Nidoqueen. Super Fang means that you will uh, half your opponent's health which is great because that means that 
with the life orb you'll be able to outco most things because it has enough power with that sheer force boost which is great and that's really why i like needle queen so much i like its competitive usage i like how much coverage it gets and i just love its shiny form for some reason so that's why it's on my number one and that was the end of my top five so I hope you guys enjoyed this top 5, there are a lot of cool Pokemon in Yu Yu to be honest. And the next video will, or the next top 5 video will, will go into OU which is the tier I, I like the least to be honest. I don't really like OU, I don't play it, but there are still some cool Pokemon in OU which I have to admit. Some Pokemon that you might not expect me to like and I'll explain why in the next top 5 video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did leave a like and then I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, later.